Hello and welcome to episode 34 of Crack Peg. I'm your host, Andrew 6657. Alright guys, on today's show, I uh, know I had done tutorials uh, the past two shows, so I was um, wondering again if maybe we should get back to the action figures, uh, just <laughs> plain talking about action figures on the show. And um, I've already done so many lists of Good action figures, bad action figures, old action figures, new action figures. Speaking of new action figures, I did see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, the Nickelodeon ones, those action figures. They all look pretty boss except for April O'Neil. She looks like she's seven years old. Does anybody know what's up with that? I don't know. Is she seven years old in the cartoon? I haven't watched the new cartoon. Because I know it probably sucks, but... Anyways, so... I was thinking about uh, action figures we could do, and it came upon me that... Maybe we should do religious action figures. Ooh. Kind of a taboo subject. But everybody, uh, I think, has seen a religious action figure once or twice. And let's go ahead and start with uh, the Jewish culture. Moses. Actually, there's a Moses action figure. Now, I know you've kind of seen these action figures around. Um, they make a lot of different ones. They made like Sigrun, Sigmund Freud. They made, they made Shakespeare, uh, Carl Jung, and uh, a couple of different people throughout history is what the, <laughs> these uh, certain brand of action figures uh, tend to go for. But they did make Moses. So. And he does come with his Ten Commandments and his staff. And there's also a deluxe version of the Moses action figure where he has a better looking robe and he also comes with, in addition to the Ten Commandments and his staff, he also has a serpent and uh, a burning bush and the Ark of the Covenant. So that's a lot of, that's a lot of good accessories. And you always want to make sure you get good accessories with your action figures. Sometimes the accessories themselves can really sell an action figure. So. And sometimes you can buy accessories by themselves. I'm not sure if you guys know that. I know Jack Specific put out a couple of different um, action figure accessories a while back. Anyways, sorry. My wife's phone kind of scared me. Anyways, um, after Moses, um, next great action figure in that same toy line is the Jesus action figure. I know a couple people have seen this before. Now, the Jesus action figure has a limited uh, uh, articulation, which is not a great thing. You know, you, you always want good art articulation when you buy any action figure. I think that needs to go unsaid. But there's also a deluxe Jesus action figure also that comes with a vase where you can turn water into wine. And it also comes with uh, five loaves of bread and the two fish. But, I mean, y'all know what that's about, right? Right? Anyways, there's also, the, there's also uh, if you don't really care for that kind of Jesus, there's always the Buddy Christ. I like the Buddy Christ, because he's like, hey, because he's kind of like, he's kind of laid back, because like, I'm laid back, and so I want my Jesus to be laid back. You know what I mean? Alright guys, moving on. Um, I could not find a Muhammad the Prophet Muhammad action figure for Islam, but uh, I did find this. Yeah, that's Allah. Allah action figure right there. I know it looks a lot similar to the Force action figure, so I'm not, I'm not sure if those are, are related or not. Maybe they're made in the same, same toy line. And maybe that's a Kenner thing that they make. But I couldn't find the Prophet Muhammad because I think there's a law against that. And I was kind of thought for a second to make a custom Muhammad action figure. But then again, some people know where I live. And probably not a wise idea. But anyways, uh, getting on with this. Um, what do you get when you make superhero ideas and historical figures from the Holy Bible. You get almighty heroes, which look totally ridiculous. 
Here's what they think Noah looks like as a superhero for kids. Really, really not good, I would say. Yeah, because that's cool, right? Anyways, um, this is probably one of the worst action figures I've ever seen. Uh, having to be based on the Bible, I mean, it's one thing to, you know, have a Jesus action figure that kind of looks like what most people would associate with what Jesus looks like, and then there's another thing to have um, reinterpretations of a said character, which also brings us to Bible Man. Yes, Bible Man. Um, he had his own action figure, he had his own show. Um, sadly, people bought into that idea and it went on for a while. I don't think it's it's currently going anymore. <coughs> I think it's like an older thing now. So I'm glad that's over, at least for now. Until some new Bible man takes up the mantle of the Bible man preaching thing. But I don't know, he was Protestant. And their Bible's missing like seven books than the Catholic Bible. So I don't... So I don't really know. Maybe there's like Catholic Bible Man, and he's like, you know, seven books stronger than Bible Man, the real Bible Man. I don't know. Anyways, last but not least, our friends the Mormons. Yes, the great, great, happy, loving, uh, very polite people who show up at your door in very nice shirt and ties and try to preach to you the Book of Mormon. And they'll even give you a Book of Mormon if you ask. You gotta ask nicely, though. And they do like snacks, so. So, feed them a snack, listen to their story, and get your free Book of Mormon, if you want. I don't know. But anyways, the characters from said Book of Mormon are also available as action figurines. There's everybody. Everybody is, is an action figure. There's Captain Moroni. There's Moroni bearing the golden plate. And there's a couple of other kings and somebody else. I mean, there's a lot of made-up characters here for you to enjoy. And um, if, if that's not enough, there's also some characters that are available in light skin. And after they made bad choices... They're also available in dark skin, because apparently you turn black when you make a bad choice uh, to the Mormons. So there's also a bad, a bad version of things. So I guess it's kind of like, um, I don't know, I don't know an analogy where, where people changed color because of who they were or what, what they did. Very interesting, though. Very interesting, maybe. maybe. Well, that's definitely not one of one of the things I, I, I would admire with these action figures. And they don't even really move. A lot of these are just basically painted figurines. And they have a really cheap-looking uh, bag that you can get to carry around all your little Mormon action figures with, too. But um, They do seem uh, highly, highly detailed and painted. I mean, there's a pretty cool Captain Moroni um, action figure. And he has um, something behind him, like a, a, a flag, and it looks like uh, there's some made-up writing on there, too. You can get them as action figures, too. And they even come on their bikes, too. So You can have your own, like, little Mormon playset, and be like, ding, ding, ding. And then you go, hey, Hulk Hogan, have you heard about the Book of Mormon? And stuff like that, so. Hope you guys enjoy that list. I, I know there's probably a lot of you that are like, what, there's a Mormon action figure? Yeah, there are, you know. But uh, anyways, all right, guys, that's all the time we have for the show. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Uh, leave any ideas for the show uh, down in the comments below. Don't forget, I do have a couple things on eBay. I actually have a Zack Ryder uh, Mattel custom on eBay with a United States Championship. It's all custom done. Actually, the tights he's wearing is actually a prototype that Zack Ryder tweeted a while back 
um, on an outfit that he was going to wear, but I don't think it ever got made. So it's an original design-ish kind of, but um, it's really cool. So go check that out. And um, don't forget to holler at your boy. Customize all of your toys. I will holler at you guys later.